of the trainer is uh, to uh, motivate the healthcare worker to be dynamic, uh, enthusiastic, and uh, with their knowledge uh, to uh, keep uh, the other healthcare worker dynamic and enthusiastic too. I love being a trainer because my passion is infection prevention and control. And I love to disseminate and to share this experience with others. It's my first time in Mashhad in Iran and it's very, very interesting to, to perform a train the trainers a course here. Actually, I've been already also performing other train the trainers in South Africa and in Madrid. And what's really interesting to notice is that uh, although the realities are completely different, some of the challenges and the questions that, this, that the participants have are quite similar and that's very interesting to notice. When it comes to the five moments of the WHO hand hygiene, we take it for granted that participants have heard about them and actually know how to do the observations right. But from the evaluation, it was identified that when it comes to coincidence of indications, so indications that are overlapping and how they need to record this on their observations when they are performing hand hygiene observations, they find it difficult. So we need to provide in the next course, we need to make sure that we provide real case examples targeting this overlapping of hand hygiene indications. Uh, there is always questions about uh, specific issues as for example the availability of alcohol-based hand rub. For example that's a similar issue uh, in South Africa and in Iran. Uh, actually in South Africa there were uh, say represented several countries so it was very heterogeneous how would they uh, how they, these countries would they have alcohol-based hand rub in their hospitals and how would they address their production and so on. They also would like to know more on the implementation of how do you actually implement when it comes to a multimodal um, strategy. I think that uh, the best message for Iranian people and also for the world to enter the campaign of hand hygiene, they, they follow clean care is safer care uh, in every uh, procedure in every uh, operation in every very every patient presence. Hassan made all these people sit together come to Mashhad sit for three days work for three days hard and they are working hard at you know assessing themselves assessing their knowledge testing their knowledge then listening to, to the course, then participating into scenarios, some of the scenarios that will play themselves, and then also reporting about their experience in their own hospital. So it's very complete. In addition to that, we had all these that was organized in parallel to the course. We had a fantastic dinner in a very traditional restaurant with music, which is not obvious for Iran, as you may know and with everyone being so happy to be together and share. And for us, this is what is the most important. We want this community of advanced infection control people to adjust to the strategy that we want to deliver and to make sure the strategy is applied all over the place to the benefit of the patient. For Iran, we need to motivate them and inspire them how to carry on with infection control and hand hygiene. What is the next level? What uh, country level campaigns in hand hygiene can they do in order to uh, diminish the campaign fatigue, for example? This was one of the key issues which came up during the course.